This is Nikola Tesla. You've probably heard of him before. Despite being born in the 1800s, in the past 10 years or so, he's become a sort of patron saint of internet science nerds the world over. Tesla revolutionized electronic technology, inventing such things as the electrical generator, FM radio, remote control, robots, spark plugs, fluorescent lights, and even the Tesla coil, which is used in a lot of TV and radio transmitters. It's widely believed in pop culture that he was a recluse, that he was shunned away by society, creating wonderful scientific inventions from his crazy laboratory like a 19th century Tony Stark. But that's all a myth. So where did this idea of a lone ranger radical scientific wizard come from? Well, in short, this book, this is John Joseph O'Neill. He's a Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist, and in 1944 he published the book Prodigal Genius, The Life of Nikola Tesla. And most of what you know about the enigmatic mad scientist of the 19th century comes from this book. The problem is, most of those anecdotes are completely untrue, and scholars have spent the last 70 years trying to debunk them. Such as the idea that Tesla was a recluse introvert that was rejected by society, forced to work in solitude. On the contrary, throughout his career, Tesla conducted sold-out speaking tours across the country. In fact, he was so well respected within the scientific community that the unit of magnetic flux density was named after him. Upon his death in 1943, Mel Guardia of New York eulogized him personally to the entire nation. So it is true. Tesla is not dead. He is very much alive among us. Among us is a triumph of his life, his achievement which we celebrate here. So not a recluse and certainly not an underappreciated scientist in the slightest. And why would he be? He patented over 160 inventions, including radar, x-ray, and alternating current electricity, the same kind that's powering your lights right now. And like any true scientist, his creations were never wholly his own. All of his inventions were the product of his collaborations with other great scientists and the work of those that had come before him. Take his greatest hit, for example, AC power. Although Tesla is credited as its inventor, a hand-cranked AC generator had already been developed by Hippolyte Pixie in 1832, more than 50 years before Tesla submitted his patent in 1887. Don't get me wrong, Tesla contributed massively to the scientific community and greatly advanced our scientific knowledge, but maybe instead of focusing on giving Tesla, along with Einstein, Darwin and Edison, the credit that, to be fair, they rightly deserve, we should spread some of that love around. Not only to the scientists that have come before us, but to the thousands of scientists and researchers out there right now striving to make this world a better place.